Hi guys, so in today's video, we are going to take a look at stock Android like AOSP build of Android Nougat on New Euphoria. And I know uh, this is not Cyanogen Mode 14, so it wouldn't have features, but it still has some tricks a bit slave. So another part, I'm just uh, thinking of creating a Facebook page where we can talk and have some conversations. You can ask me questions and I will surely answer them. So I will link, leave a link in the description. You can like the page and ask anything about my post. We can talk anything related to tech or any other thing. So let's just move on. As you can see. Now the weird thing is the color saturation of this ROM. I know it's uh, nothing to do with the display driver. It's very colorful ROM actually for a LCD display. And I can surely say this ROM is a very colorful ROM actually. The color saturation is very much beautifully adjusted in this one. As you can see the stock nougat wallpaper which we are seeing in the developer previews. And here are the apps. And, uh, First thing I noticed that it's very much uh, much smoother than the Steinagent Mode 14. Doesn't lag at all. Those who have complaints, you can definitely use this. And I use uh, G apps and no crashes at all. But it doesn't come with a stock browser, which is an awkward thing. Now here I am using Google Now Launcher because I have selected for the micro G apps. Now here is the camera resolution and quality. You can select for the 1080p front because it was not available in the marshmallow or the stock ones but you can uh, like select for the full HD video recording on your front camera. So let's just try back camera works pretty perfect and also the uh, exposure it just hanged off over there. There are still some bugs but it took the snapshot and the color reproduction and also the exposure bug which you do get with the uh, Cyanogen mode ROM is not at all present over here because I can really show you the shitty picture Cyanogen mode text as you can see the exposure is not at all adjust it just blows away the whole picture actually which is very bad image quality whereas over here you can see everything is perfect uh, this portion feels a bit laggy or it's just me because I was using a custom kernel where it has a 1.9 megahertz of clock boost whereas the 1.2 megahertz which is stock and for the stock one, it's a pretty awesome ROM. No lag at all, cause basically it doesn't have any apps besides my installed like photos, Google, Maps, Hangouts and bunch of stuff, YouTube. Blah. Now let's go to settings. Here are the same things you can find on any other device. But if you go to your display, you can see many of the things have been removed cause it's a stock ROM. This is the uh, stock version which you do get with a Nexus 6P or a 5UX Here is the VR mode you can use low motion blow Device is rotated pretty much same stuff tap to wake is working I guess Let's just check on two. Okay, it's working on three to four taps Press twice to open camera good screen saver sleep pretty much the same Go to the about phone and as you can see it has the like Latest of the security patch you don't get of any Sanogen uh, build till the date. Today is 10th of the October, which is very good. You do get a latest security patch. Also, this is the no good Easter egg. Let's just unlock that. Now, system UI tuner you have to enable by going like this and holding down your settings. Just leave it, and you can basically disable the system UI system here tuner options too let me show you okay there it is it's a very awesome thing if you messed up something because it's a very developer friendly option you can adjust the quick settings and brightness status bar i have disabled my cellular data because i don't have a sim in this device color and appearance so the night mode is present but it's not what you think like everything will invert no, it's just a blue light filter light thing or something you have in iPhone. I don't know. I just forgot. But it's cool and it basically stays like that if you. It's pretty much bugged off, I guess. Oh shit. You can calibrate your colors definitely. Also, if you can see, the boot animation is from the stock Android. I know it's a bit small for this device. Maybe it's like a 1080p resolution, so it become smaller on this but it's still cool because this is my favorite boot animation actually let me show you a bit closer there it is android 
Wow, the boating uh, speed is very uh, very fast. You saw there, <laughs> and still stuck on the night shift. Maybe I can just do it with the calibration on the display. So this is the whitest I can make it right now. It's not totally white, but you can see white color <laughs> the camera. It's just very funny that it has stuck on the night mode navigation bar. Now this is a very diverse option actually. Other uh, demo mode. So demo mode is also available over here, which is a very awkward thing. And that's pretty much it. It's just a basically stock build. You don't get anything like theme store. I know theme store is not still present on Sunrise mode 14.2, but still a great thing. Let's just open multi window over here works pretty much just fine i don't know whether we will get android 7.1 build of course we will get uh, on but not like same as the pixel ones which would be very awesome to get one that which has a google assistant and many tricks i don't know why we can just adjust like a samsung phone so guys thanks for watching this was my review of stock android build for you euphoria peace